I don't know why you're looking for the Bohr Rutherford diagram of Scandium, but that's none of my concern. What you do in your own time, it's your own business. What's important about Scandium is that it's the first exception to regular Bohr Rutherford diagrams where you fill from the inside or yeah, from the inside out. First shell, second shell, third shell, fourth shell. Once you put two electrons in the fourth shell, you actually have to backtrack and go to the third shell. Now, if you're learning this, it's probably because you're supposed to know that the, the two electrons that correspond to the 19th and 20th in an atom go into the 4s subshell. Some teachers will show you an order of filling like this one. Others will show you an order of filling like this one where you draw diagonal lines. What matters is that these two electrons, number 19 and 20, go into the fourth shell, but these ones from scandium all the way to zinc go back into the third shell, which can actually hold 18 electrons. So let's do it. We have 21 protons because it's atomic number 21. The atomic mass is about 45. 45 minus 21 is 24. So let's draw that nucleus of 21 protons and 24 neutrons. Nothing to do yet. We're going to have a first shell, second shell, third shell, and fourth shell. The first 20 electrons of the 21 we're going to use are going to be done normally. Let's go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons in the second shell. I put two electrons in the first shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons in the third shell. And that's the limit for now. One, two electrons in the fourth shell. That's 20 electrons. But again, once you get past calcium, you have to worry about what's called the order of filling. The next electrons, I only have one extra electron beyond number 20, but the rest of those extra electrons until you get here go into the third shell. So I'm going to put that extra electron right here. I now have nine in my third shell. Don't know if that blew your mind or not. It certainly blew mine. Best of luck.